We're here in Berlin. And we're going to show you guys the coolest bike shop. It's got a bike shop, workshop, cafe, vintage well, bike. We could just show them. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go for a minute. This unique bike shop is full of awesome bikes, coffee and kit. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let's learn a bit more about the history of the shop from one of their longtime mechanics, Andre. Yes, the vintage bikes started in Berlin as an online bicycle shop specifically for vintage racing bikes. And um, in the beginnings was quite a humble, small shop with few people working there. We also had a small workshop and it grew a little larger and became more successful. So we rented an extra room and decided to open a small cafe because everybody knows coffee and bikes go well together. And after that, we became so successful that we had to rent a much larger facilities and went to a different district of Berlin. This is now Mitte. And as you can see, it's already crammed. We even opened a second shop now in Berlin to cope with the demand. Since we come from a background where we are specifically dealing with special types of bikes and people who are interested in a specific field of cycling, we're now opening up to a wider community. So we like to interest more people, not only in vintage bicycles, but also in kind of modern cycling, modern cycling gear, a bit of the cycling lifestyle generally. Now you've got an array of different cycling fashion here. You've got retro, you've got colourful, you've got loads of caskets. Hey, you sold my outfit. We send bikes really all over the world. So from Alaska to Tasmania, we've sent them everywhere. Of course, most of the bikes are sold in Europe, but probably 50% go overseas. Check this out. This is a 1990s Dente Spider Speed prototype. Look at that suspension. Actually looks quite comfortable. And a bit of bike art as well. This is made out of tires, inner tubes and handlebar tape. So you've seen the cafe and you've seen the shop. Now we're gonna take a look behind the scenes at the workshop where not many people get to go. Follow me. This hidden away part of the bike shop is where the true heroes are kept. The bikes that are brought through the store are vetted for their authenticity, then restored to their former glory days with the appropriate bike parts to their era all with the intent to ensure they can be ridden like they were brand new. First of all, this workshop is immaculate, but I guess it has to be working on vintage bikes. They've got everything they need to restore and refurbish the bikes here. As you can see, all the group sets and handlebars on the walls. This is a Francesco Mose frame, and it's actually the same frame design as what he broke the world hour record attempt on in 1984 in Mexico City. And it was so popular, they put the bike into production. And I can see why it is a super cool looking bike. I wonder where Hank is. Here I am. <laughs> yeah, I found myself in the mix of 200 vintage bikes. They've got bikes ranging from the 30s, 60s, 70s, 80s, you name it, they've got it here. Right. I guess it's time that I show you some of the special ones. Right, which one should I pick? Check this out. Now this is the Mexico TT bike. The same bike the Russians used back in the Moscow Olympics. Interesting thing about this bike is the tubing. It's ridiculously thin, not much wider than my thumb, in fact. Now Conago have gone proper aerodynamic using that thin tubing, oval tubing down on the uh, forks there. And they've also put the brakes behind the front forks. So you've got like integrated brakes, as it were. Beautiful bike, I have to say. And it's also got filed seat posts. Everything for those aero gains. Oh, super cool looking bike. 
Another bike I found here is this Chinelli track bike back from the 1960s. This is a perfect example of the refurbishments they've done here. It's been re-chromed, repainted, and you've also got an original Chinelli saddle there, leather in perfect condition. If you ask me, well, this deserves to be in a museum. It is absolutely perfect. This is the Carnago C35 Ferrari classic bicycle. A bike that, I think you would agree, really catches your eye. The lines, the colours and everything about it make it an incredibly cool looking bike. This bike was designed in collaboration with famous Italian brands like Ferrari and Campagnolo back in the 1980s. Campagnolo also decided to create a fully gold-plated C-Record group set with Cabalto brakes. Literally, no expense was spared in the creation of this truly iconic bike. Another bike that really grabbed my attention is this, Eddie Merckx's Team Maltini bike built by Uga de Rosa. It was the actual bike he rode back in 1975 at the Tour de France. And you can understand why steel vintage bikes are so proud to count this piece of history in their collection. Now, another bike that has really caught my eye is this one. Gianni Motta's personal 2001 R Brevetato. Gianni Motta, if you aren't aware, is one of the greatest cyclists back in the 60s and 70s. The one you're looking at here is one of the rarest of all Gianni's bikes. Stiffness was a key part to this frame. And so there's a few things that he did to help stiffen it up. Like the bottom bracket shell has got two long extra fins. The fork crown was specifically designed to reinforce the fork. The rear dropouts were soldered over the rear stays instead of into them to improve the stiffness. All wrapped up in a classic pursuit frame of this era. The group set is Campagnola Crotchedowne with Delta brakes. Wheels are superb Ambrosio disc wheels with Campagnolo C-Record hubs. Then, to top it all off, it was painted in fluorescent glow-in-the-dark paint in the Italian classic colors. To be honest, um, what I like most about my work is when I can get hands-on with the bikes, because that is a work that really gives something back. You work on it, and in the end, when you leave in the evening and you switch off the lights, you can have a last glimpse on the bike that you just finished that is so good. Oh, now that was a cool shot. It's been amazing visiting vintage steel bikes here in Berlin. If you're ever in the area, make sure to check them out as you won't be disappointed. Yeah, they got really good coffee too. Right. Got yourself a nice little casket there too. Yeah, I got myself a little souvenir. Nice. Right, what's next? More bikes, I guess. Yes. <laughs>